Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a Shop My Stash video. I did a, <clears throat> excuse me, a playing with makeup, like Forgotten Loves video, and just on the fly I decided why don't I kind of go through my collection, pick out makeup with you guys. And so many of you were like, um, that's like a Shop My Stash video. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, that is. And it was because I came at it from like the wrong direction anyway. Duh. So we are doing a Shop My Stash video. I don't know who to credit for these videos. I don't know where these started, so I apologize. But please let me know down below uh, in my comment section if you guys know who was the originator of these videos. But they're a lot of fun, and I do see them being done on a lot of channels. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, when I did my Forgotten Loves video, many of you, which I was surprised at, but many of you wanted like a video like this and and to do it kind of based around limited edition products those are products i generally stay away from i don't like talking about products that you guys can't get you know if you're interested in them uh but so i mean i got a lot of comments saying do a limited edition one i want to see a full face of limited edition products i was like oh okay so i think we'll do that today we'll shop my stash and see what we have all right let me turn you guys around all right so here is my like primer and the first of my foundation drawers, let's see. I don't think anything in here. Oh, you know what? This is limited edition. This is limited edition. You know what? I wanna use this because I actually really, really like this. Not that I don't like this, <laughs> but I really like this. And this is so much fun. So I'm gonna use this as primer. And then in terms of foundation, I don't think any of these are limited edition okay let's go to my other drawer these are not limited edition either okay so maybe we just have to stick with just something that i want to use okay so this is a very kind of like moisturizing glowy kind of base oh you know what let's use this because this was going to be discontinued but it's back now so this is actually kind of the best of both worlds i don't know like kind of like it was limited edition no it was kind of like discontinued and now it's back so you can actually get it haha -ha. all right i think um i was gonna go down to my powder drawer but i think let's go down to my cream drawer because i feel like maybe there's some more limited edition products in there okay <laughs> this looks really insane so this is my like cream of uh, highlight blush and bronzer contour drawer let's see if we have any limited edition products in here well this is limited edition you can still get it you know what i am going to use this by terry starlight rose maybe i'll kind of mix that in with my la mer uh, because this is limited edition but you can still get it and it's just gorgeous i love it this was limited edition. Oh, you know what's limited edition? These blushes. I think you can still get the Chantecai, uh, but you guys seemed really, <laughs> really to want me to use products that you can't get anymore. So I'm gonna get this, uh, this Guerlain bubble blush out because this I think is, is totally gone. Okay, I'm gonna pull out this Rodin uh, liquid highlighter. This came out last year. Yeah, like last summer, summer 2018. So I'm going to pull this out if I feel like I need additional highlighting. Let's go up to powders and then we'll do like a powder bronzer because I don't think I have any limited edition bronzer, liquid bronzers in here. No. All righty. Um, <laughs> oh, you know what powder I can use? Okay, I can use this Kogendo. Well, it's limited edition, so they don't even have the name in English on the back, but I love this powder because it has a little bit of a sheen and it's great for dry skin and you can't get it anymore. So we'll use that. Um, concealer. I don't think any of these are limited edition. I don't think anyone's ever made a limited edition concealer. Am I right? Because <laughs> that would be super weird. All right, let me use this actually because this is new for me. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer, and I really liked it. I've worn this maybe twice, so I just want to try it again, uh, make sure I really do like it. That's it. You know what? Maybe I'll use this as a finishing powder because it is quite glowy, and then I'll use the Kogan Doe, the Sheer Lucent Powder, and this one is limited edition. It's still available though, so it's limited edition, so let's 
use that one. Okay, now that I've pulled out my bronzer drawers, I think I know exactly what bronzer I wanna use because I love them. And yeah, they're like long, long gone. So these are the Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder bronzers. And Victoria Beckham has just come out with her own line and I'm really hoping she comes out with bronzers. So I have Java Sun and then Saffron Sun. Java Sun's a little bit warmer and deeper than Saffron Sun. So I'm gonna just take both out and we'll see how it goes when I get to the bronzer stage. All right, here's some of my blushes. I feel like I already know what I wanna do. There's some Chanel blushes that were limited edition that I could use. There are these MAC Robert Lee Morris collaboration ones that were amazing. Uh, so that is a possibility, but I'm thinking, I'm looking at the rest of my makeup here. Um, oh, I have this bubble blush out. Oh, so I don't need a blush. Uh, but this is cream. Let me think. Let me think. Well, let me pull one out in case I want to like amp up the blush a little bit, but this one is, but this one is kind of like a cooler toned one. So let me find, I think actually there's a Chanel blush I want to use then. Hang on. It is no. so many, so little time. The Tweed Core Line? Nope, that's the peach one. There's a tweed, here it is, the tweed cherry blossom. I wanna use this one because that actually, I feel like is kind of similar to the Guerlain. It's brighter, but okay, let's just pull that out. So we have that for blush. Okay, I pulled out this one drawer because last time when I did this video, I used a Charlotte Tilbury quad. And so I was about to pull out my quad drawer and I thought, let me use like a bigger palette that is limited edition. So uh, I've got a couple in here, this Shantikai Polar Ice one. It's so pretty. So I can use that one. I'm gonna pull this out and the Loaded. Oh my God, I love this palette. And this could be a little bit warm. This was definitely on the warmer side. Um, so maybe that won't work. You know what is not on the warmer side and was limited edition is this Kevin Aquan Nude Pop. And this, such a good palette. I don't know why this was limited edition. This should just be part of the line. But look at, that's pretty. Yeah, I'll do that today. Okay, here's my disaster of a lip drawer. We of course have the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, but I just did that video, so I just feel like that's not kind of like a hidden treasure in here. You know what, let's go down to the lip gloss drawer. Let's see what's in there. Oh God, <laughs> this drawer looks even more horrendous. Okay, okay, but I do feel like I see more things that were limited edition, like this Guerlain Kiss Kiss one. This was limited edition. These three Dose of Color ones were limited edition. I think this Tom Ford in Naked Elixir, I think this is limited edition also. Let me pull this out too. Hey, editing Michelle here. I know how much you guys love editing Michelle. Uh, that Naked Elixir from Tom Ford, I think it is limited edition, but it is still very much available everywhere. So I'm sorry, but um, I do end up using that in the video and I, I did kind of forget how much I enjoy it. So anyway, let's get back to the video. All right, now that we have everything picked out, let's start with the primer. So I have the Guerlain Meteorites Glow Pearls Cushion Primer. And I, I love this primer. If you have dry skin, if you want a little bit of glow, uh, your skin maybe looks a little bit dull, this is awesome. I really, really love this. Too bad it's limited edition. Uh, but here is what the cushion looks like. It has all those little spongy balls in there. God, that sounds terrible. Wow. It has all of those little glow pearls in there. Let's say that. Um, all of my sponges are incredibly dirty, so I'm actually going to use the little puff that was included, which I never do, but I'm going to go in with this puff. I'm just going to press down. I'm just going to go ahead and like pat this on, and this doesn't really have any kind of color to it, even though I feel like when you press it down, you can see a little bit of like all the little pearls in here. Maybe you could call it color correcting a little bit, but I don't, for me, I don't feel like it shows up on my face too much. And there is just the slightest fragrance to this, but I was very disappointed when I got this uh, little cushion compact that it did not have the violet like meteorite scent. I thought for sure it was going to have that really beautiful like light floral violet scent, but it it didn't, it didn't. It just has 
I don't know. I don't even know if it's fragrance. It's so, so faint, but it's, it's not violet. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, there is the primer applied. My lips are so dry. Let me put on some lip balm. Do I have any limited edition lip balm? I do. Actually, one of my favorite lip balms of all time, the Emile Corden, the Hamptons Summer Fra uh, set Flavor. I don't even know what to call it. The Hamptons Summer Flavor. This one was limited edition. I think maybe they've sold out of it. I'm not sure. I will link to it down below if you are interested. But this, God, why did I close this so tightly? Jeez. I really didn't want this to dry out. <laughs> oh, there, oh my God. Woo, I like broke out into a sweat on that one. Okay. Oh, I just love this lip balm. It's so good. Okay, now on to uh, foundation. So we took out the La Mer Reparative Skin Tint. I also grabbed the By Terry um, Starlight Rose uh, Glow Booster CC Serum. And I think I'm just gonna mix the two. I was trying to figure out if I should put one on before the other, but I think I'm just gonna mix the two. I'm gonna shake them both up. Let's squeeze a bit out of this. Squeeze one pump of that. And I'm gonna do something I very rarely do, but I'm just gonna apply this with my hands. Really nice light coverage and that Starlight Rose CC Serum. Oh, it just gives like the most beautiful glow to my complexion. It's gorgeous. I'm really enjoying adding this to foundations. It's just, it's really beautiful, really, really beautiful. Especially now with the winter coming, my skin is really dry. It's looking really dull. Yes, this is amazing. All right, next let's move on to concealer. And we have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer. It's not very radiant. It's just not quite as cakey as the original. What is wrong with me today? I can't seem to open anything. My hands aren't like that greasy or anything. Maybe they are. Um, but what was I saying about this concealer? Oh, it's not quite as like thick and cakey as the original. Uh, double wear concealer so it is kind of like a nice lighter younger sister to the original concealer so just adding a little bit since my foundation concoction is so uh, sheer and so light I don't want too heavy of a concealer because that would just look really really weird so just a little bit of the concealer I'm just gonna spread that out and about okay I have some liquid products that we pulled out the highlighter and the blush but I think I'm gonna powder first. I never used to do that. I would, you know, kind of put the cream product down and then put the powder on top. But I'm realizing so long as you're careful with the application of the cream product on top of powder, the powder like base actually helps the cream product like stay longer. So I'm gonna do that today. I have the Kogendo Sheer Lucent Powder. This is a uh, limited edition, but it is still available. I think it just came out this fall, I wanna say. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab a brush. I'm gonna grab my BK Beauty 102 brush. And this powder has like netting in it, which is my favorite. Pat that on. Um, because this brush is so like floppy like this and that the hairs are cut so that there's a lot of surface area here with like, you know, hair ends. Um, I like applying the powder, like patting it on my skin. I think it works out best for this brush. It's also kind of pinched, so it's a little bit flatter. It just really lends itself to this, like, kind of floppy patting motion. <laughs> so just a light layer of that. I don't want to lose all of that, like, beautiful radiance that I added between the primer and the By Terry CC Serum. I just wanted, like, just a little bit of powder, just just to set it down, but not really remove that glow. All right, next I'm gonna go in with some of this uh, liquid highlighter. This is the Rodin highlighter, and I mentioned this came out last summer, summer 2018. It was part of their like mermaid collection. It was just, it was so beautiful, it was so much fun. Okay, so I just pumped out a little bit of that, and I'm just going to tap it on. And because I have that powder down, I'm just gonna make sure I tap and like press instead of you know, going in with any sort of sweeping or circular motions or anything. I don't want to disturb that powder underneath. All right, so we've got some nice glow down. Let's move over into blush. So I did take out the Guerlain Meteorites Bubble Blush and I have it in the shade Rose here. This is very pinky, not, not peachy at all, kind of a cooler toned blush. And I'm gonna use my finger, I'm just gonna run it across 
the bubble blush and just kind of tap that on same idea I'm going to tap without making any kind of swiping motions so that I don't disturb the powder underneath and this blush has such a beautiful sheen to it like the whiter looking swirl in there is kind of like a highlighty uh, pearly metallic reflective kind of color and so when you mix the two you just get this really pretty shimmery satiny kind of blush and this blush this meteorites blush actually smells like the meteorites it does have that violet scent to it and it's just oh, it's so lovely i love it i love it all right next we have uh the victoria beckham bronzer so java sun saffron sun i think i'm going to use saffron sun it's a little bit lighter and it's a little bit less warm so this one is saffron sun and this one is java sun so you can see it's a little bit deeper all right let's go in with saffron sun and i'm just grabbing my tom ford bronzer brush Add a little bit underneath where I applied that bubble blush and sweep it around my forehead. I'm just making sure since I put down green product here, I'm just kind of pressing the brush in. Again, I'm not sweeping, making sure it's, it's a bit even, not putting down too much of this bronzer. I feel like the look I'm doing is a little bit more natural. I think that's nice. Just gave me a little bit of color. I look a little bit less dead. All right, next up for eyebrows, I pulled out the Surratt Expressionist Brow Pomade. This is not limited edition. I don't think they generally make limited edition brow products. I could be wrong, but I don't feel like that's something that they would, I don't know, that they would release and pull off the market quickly. So I thought I would just grab something that I really like, but have not used in a while. So this does not have any color to it. It's really just a pomade. And um, again, I feel like I'm doing a fairly natural look today. So I just wanna get my brows in place and not add too much pigment there. I'm not one for a super bold brow anyway, so this will be good enough. Brush them up a little. Oh, I had pulled out this Chanel uh, Tweed Blush in case this blush was maybe a little bit too faint. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Well, I have this, um, maybe after I put on everything else, sometimes the blush looks a little bit faint so we can layer this on top, but I think for now it's all right. Um, let's move on to the Kevin Aquan Nude Pop Eyeshadow Palette. Like, why was this limited edition? I don't understand. Okay, I'm going in with my Sonya G Blender Pro. I'm gonna go into this shade here and just apply this all over. Actually, what I'm realizing is this brush is dirty. Mm -hmm. I wiped it off and I thought I wiped it off good enough, but I did not. I was using some very, very dark shadow yesterday. So, all right, I've got the Crease 2 from Sonia G. I'm gonna go back into that shade and just see if I can kind of blend out the darkness there. That happens to all of us, right? It's just the worst. Yeah, this side definitely has like a gray tinge to it. Ugh. All right, let's just keep going. I'm gonna go into, well, let's go with it. Let's go into this like grayish purpley shade. And I'm gonna use that to add a little bit of dimension and maybe help blend, <laughs> blend into my dirty brush remnant on my lid here. Okay, I'm gonna take my trusty Esom W36 brush and go into this deep shade over here and deepen up my outer corners with this brush. All right, I'm gonna go back to that crease two brush. I'm not adding any more pigment. I'm just gonna soften things up a little bit here. And then let's go in with one of these really fun shimmery shades. I'm thinking maybe this one, I think this one may be a little bit too dramatic. And this one I think is just too warm. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with this shade and I'm gonna go in with my Esam W21 brush and go into that shade. Just swipe that across the lid. This is probably better with a finger, but I can never get my finger right into the corner of my eye, and that's where I end up fat fingering and like getting pigment all underneath my, uh, my eye down here. So I'm just gonna add this to the inner corner here, and then maybe I'll fill in with my finger like in the center of my lid. Okay, now I'm gonna take my ring finger and press this on. This is such a pretty rose gold shade. Taking that crease too again and just running it across the top here. 
Then I'm going to take my ESIM T05 brush and go back into this dark matte shade and line my eyes with it. All right, eyeshadow is done. I'm going to curl my lashes, apply some mascara, and then I will come back and we'll do the lips. I've already forgotten what we picked. All right, for lips, wow, I picked a lot. <laughs> Took out a lot of uh, sparkly lip glosses and then this lip lacquer in Naked Elixir from Tom Ford. So uh, why don't I go ahead and line my lips I'll put this down and we'll see how that looks. All right, I just pulled out my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude and I'm just gonna line with this. And then put on this Naked Elixir. It feels really nice. God, my lips are so dry. Oh yeah, I forgot how much I like this. Like I'm not the biggest fan of like really milky lips. Like this is like as milky I feel like as I can get, but it's really pretty. And I feel like the iconic nude, I like overline my lips a little bit and my lips look super plump, huh? Huh? <laughs> what was that? Wow. And then last but not least, I've got the Kogendo limited edition. I can't remember what this is called. Again, we just have Japanese writing on the back. Um, but yeah, this sold out actually fairly quickly. I'm trying to remember when this actually came out. Was this over the summer? This, I feel like it was fairly recent, either over the summer or the spring maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sony G Face One brush. Kind of pounce and buff. I definitely don't mind using this powder as a setting powder either. It has a little bit more sheen than I'm used to, but it's, it's pretty. It's pretty, especially if you like a little bit of something to your um, complexion, like a little bit of a pearly sheen. Oh, it's really pretty. All right, and one last blush check. I still have that Chanel sitting out here. Do we want to add a little bit? Let's add a little bit. Maybe just to like the balls of my cheek. I'm gonna use my Sony G Cheek Pro brush. Oh God, that picked up a lot. Hold on, let me tap that off. <laughs> and just a little bit. Just add a little flush right there. Yep, that's it. I think that's all you need. So that's it. We basically did a full face of limited edition products. Thank you guys so much for your suggestion to do this. It was a lot of fun and it really helps me rediscover a lot of things in my collection, especially since I try and avoid these limited edition products for you. So it was really nice to hear from you guys that you would actually be very interested in me using these limited edition products. So let me know more of your thoughts down below in the comment section. Definitely give me some ideas for future Shop My Stash videos um, like you did last time. I really would not have known that so many of you were interested in limited edition products. So give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.